without that video. I, don't, I really don't think, you know, Brian Rose wouldn't have been what it was um, then without, you know, Purcell Farms open, their, open the doors to let a, some basketball creators and some golf creators come in and hit a basketball 70 yards down uh, this little valley or, or from, from the patio onto the green. <laughs> trying to dunk a ball down on a basketball hoop. It seems so like just ragtag, but it was a ton of fun. We yeah. were young and what we were doing, y'all were. Yeah, we were I mean, we were young. It was our first like, four or five months into like creating content. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was a wild week. I mean, it, that was what coming here kind of launched us into kind of that next level of kind of online content. Because we had been doing videos for like four months. Uh, just think, probably just create a YouTube channel and um, that was our first video that we collaborated that went viral that got like views, a lot of views outside of golf and got people like our name out there and yes, the golf sphere, but then like, you know, the just other sports people out anyway, it was just like a, a launching pad. Um, and without that video, I don't, I really don't think, you know, Brian Rose wouldn't have been what it was. Um, then without, you know, Purcell Farms open their, open the doors to let a, some basketball creators and some golf creators come in and hit a basketball 70 yards down uh, this little valley or, or from, from the patio onto the green. <laughs> um, and do, went on Sports Center, right? Yeah, went everywhere. Um, and we did some other cool things throughout the course, but um, it was, I mean, that's what opened a lot of doors um, because you guys being kind of taking a chance on two kids who did trick shots and some basketball guys. Uh, yeah, it was amazing. And I, I mean, first thing I rolled in here, that was the first thing I thought about. I was like, that was, that was eight years ago where Wesley was sitting here with a nine iron <laughs> trying to like flop a basketball down a hill. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I, we sat out there for like hours. Yeah, it was a long time. That was... Because we had, three, we had three basketballs that we rotated. So we'd hit the three, go down there, pick them up. <laughs> we'd have like, like a good system. no, if we had thought it more, should we have brought 20 basketballs or yeah, probably. Probably, <laughs> that probably would have been up the point. So like, yeah. That was your first time. Mm -hmm. Like, so what do you remember? Like, what was your first impression when you came here? Because we, I mean, we weren't, we had kind of just in the same place y'all were more started to try to morph uh -huh. into like who we are now, but it was just the beginning. Yeah. It's like you also like, what was your first impression coming? Um, for, you could tell how much it was like family oriented here. Um, which is kind of, I'm big on is, is more any kind of company brand can make it feel like a family versus like a transactional kind of thing is I'm all about. And so you, you drive in here and you meet the, the staff, uh, the pros. And then I guess you, um, that was our, I don't know if that was our first time meeting. Maybe, maybe, maybe. not. Um, but you really could like get the sense of it was like, hey, come and enjoy and hang out and just come be a part of our family. Like anything you need, we're here. Um, and so it was just really cool getting that vibe, getting that uh, just um, this welcoming uh, with, open arms kind of feel, um, which is very rare, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, for, we're from the South, of course, that's kind of the, the norm, but still like to experience and feel genuine, like, hey, your family when you're here, uh, was really cool. That's cool, dude. Yeah, because we, again, it's always, I mean, hopefully authenticity is kind of like that mm -hmm. number one driver for anybody, yeah. you know, because even we're sitting here on a camera talking about a few questions, but like, can we both feel like, yeah, George is the same guy who, he is on camera and he yeah. off and the answer is absolutely yes. You know, and I'd hope to be the same as mm -hmm. someone across as me. Like, yeah. Is Marty the same guy? Yeah. Like, yeah. camera doesn't change him. You know, it's just our our way of trying to present these values. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, for sure. Which is, which is cool. So, uh, the next question I was going to ask would be, what emotions do you feel like you experience when you're here at the farm? Uh, I don't know. Emotions. Not freedom, but you come here and you like, there's not like... You just feel like, oh, freedom, let's see, emotions, 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 um, peacefulness. I mean, you just come back here, like, I mean, I've never just came and played and left. I'm always staying for a few nights and just kind of like immersing myself back here away from everything. Um, but yeah, just like a, a peace um, or like a re relaxation, even though we're coming here to grind to work, but it just feels different and it's not, I mean, yes, it's about the work, but it's just, Come here, hang out with some friends, um, catch up, play some good golf, some fun golf, and you kind of fit work in there, but it's 
it's different than the hustle and bustle of you know most ever uh, most every other course you know that you're filming or playing at for me i'm playing or practicing at um different than any resorts that you know usually go to because again like i said there's that family feel that kind of just presents this state of peace and calm and like fun that you know it's i don't know it's just it's, that would be the one what other emotions um if one's fine that's i mean that's yeah it, like, it's your, it's yeah, so it's a lot. There's not like one, but it's just I think I think a peacefulness is um, right through when you drive in the gates. You're like, oh, all right, you know, I can take a picture, and you're like, this is nice. Yeah. You know, I already feel like you know the weight's taken off my shoulders, and you just kind of relax and just play some good golf and uh, shoot some good content. That's right. You still, out of anyone I've ever seen, shot the lowest. Like that was. You have to like flex a little bit. You shot a twenty. I do. Yeah. Yes, it was from six thousand five hundred yards, but nobody cares. You shot a three on every. I know. Made nine straight threes. That's that's still one of the most ridiculous things I've done because yes, you do that. You shoot like a low number with your friends, but like I was in a tournament, I was playing with, you know, some people I've never played before. I think Brody Smith and Ben Rector, some guys that like, you kind of want to impress. You like you want to show that you're pretty good, but I was in this weird, awkward transition from like full time player trying to do some content, but I was terrible at it, and I was awkward and. I just kind of wasn't playing that good at golf, and then all of a sudden, bam, three, 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 and I'm like, okay, I've made, I've made five straight threes, and I kind of know, then you make another, and you're like, oh my gosh, I can make a three on every hole if I make a few more threes, and I had like a 10-footer for Eagle on, we started on number two, so number one, um, and I was like, this is definitely going in, it has to go in, and when it went in, I was like, I just made nine threes, <laughs> it was hilarious, because like, there was, it's not like I was playing great, but yeah. It just happened. It was really cool that it was here and, you know, it was on camera a little bit. And uh, it was one, definitely one of the, I mean, I feel like every time we come here, some fun, awesome thing happens. Um, and I feel like it's not by coincidence either. That's good. So what would you tell someone who's Bam. never been here before? What would I tell someone who's never been here before? I mean, really just, uh, what would I tell them? So if I, let's see, what do I want to say? So what I tell someone who's never been here before, probably just that they're going to have a good time, that they're going to enjoy the golf, but it's just like you're going to enjoy the total package. Like you're going to drive in, you're going to down a winding road, you're going to see just green grass, uh, some cattle, cows, what, what, I'm not a, longhorns, long there we go. <laughs> um, some animals, and you're just going to feel like you're just going to unplug, you're going to unwind, like it's just, the sense of like this relaxing relaxation that kind of sets in and then you're just going to enjoy the golf course it's a fun golf course but then food's good and you're kind of tucked away in a little nook and somewhere in alabama and it's just going to be a fun few nights that you don't have to really i don't know it's just it's hard to put in words but when you come here you like you'll know what you know what, know what i'm talking about it's just like the people are nice the people are um, very hospitable um quiet relaxing middle of the woods but not really um i don't know it's just it's just awesome just a little slice of heaven yeah in the middle of nowhere. yeah i mean you can't you, it's, it's tough to be like in, especially in today's world where you're so busy um city streets skyscrapers internet texting phone technology blah 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 um and you come here and it's just like golf people eating and hanging out yeah well it's like we tell people again those of you know, those who've been here before, welcome back. Those who've never been here, welcome home. Yeah. When it comes to the Purcell, the Purcell brand, what we're doing, you're obviously coming back. We always want you back. And we're yeah. Glad that you are here again, and hope to see you many more times in the near yeah, future. Yeah, me too. That's pretty fun. I just don't thought about everything, every vid everything we've ever done here. It's always like legendary shots video, super viral, like it blew up. Um, some of the videos, every video I've shot here. Like everyone just, oh my God, I love this place. Made nine threes in a row. <laughs> yeah. That's what Make you, on. That needs to be your next video yeah. to come out. Can I shoot? And then you just need to tell a story yeah. about how you did it. I know. And so then, yeah. yeah. And then this week, like, I feel like this is going to be the best stuff that I've seen that's come from this that I've been a part of. So it's like, I mean, it can't be coincidence. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So nice yeah. work. You, you guys are doing a great job. Purcells are amazing. Dude, no, it's, you're the one creating content. Well, yes, but you're the one giving us the vehicle to do it. <laughs>